Ahoy, me again. I got this Besha Rockstar Mini Rock Crawler 124 scale uh, from Hobby King. Uh, trying to get my son getting into MPV before before I get him a copter. As you can see, there's nothing like it. Like it was all this plastic, this and like obviously nothing is good enough for me out of a box as it is. So let's go through the mod straight on. I increased the size of it, uh, the length. Uh, it's a 16 millimeters wider, uh, simply because I wanted to fit my uh, immersion CVTX in there. So uh, I had to I had to make it longer, make sure my SMA connector uh, doesn't stick out into the into the suspension. So all cut from fiberglass, and I tempered a bit with the geometry. Uh, the shocks can do the travel uh, of six millimeters extra, so I in I increased that when I when I redraw the plan. Also, the spring has another six millimeters more, but I got enough. Uh, softened suspension so that, that that's good that's good enough for me now another thing uh i made i made the main frame body narrower a bit because uh on the stock one when it was articulating these arms they were ramming into the body and there was li limit limiting the articulation now the articulation i got roughly 60 degrees uh between uh between front front and rear axles so Got it good here. The wheels, uh, I drove. I drove a little bit with the stock wheels, and even though, even though they soft, they 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 still doesn't get as much. Like if there's a little dust, they, they don't get as much grip on the as these ones. These are from a 116 scale Truggy, and of course they not they not as soft. So I just kind of shot myself in the foot because I got them pre glued, so I had to cut them out, and I. I drilled the holes to soften the rim a bit. Also inside there, the, the, there was there was three strings kind of lips to to strengthen the wheel. I sanded them off, and inside there's a uh, pieces of lead, and that increased the grip like like very much. I have to say, like the the wheel is 64 gram for one wheel, so that's kind of heavy. Uh, my frisky receiver in there. I'm using I'm using Taranis. And the way I have it, the way I have it uh, forward backwards, and on my on my rudder channel, I have a pan tilt system that I have here for the for the pan. I have a 180 degree servo. I think it's a 12 gram or something that gives me the gives me the turn. And and for the tilt, I have a five gram servo that I have here on the slider so that will be watching basically if I turn everything I, I can see I can see the rear wheels telemetry loss antennas are too close that's not good so as I said like I'm using immersion C 5.8 gigahertz uh, receiver that's my clover leaf sticking out uh, frisky uh, RX with telemetry and now the powertrain, there's an interesting bit, uh, I didn't want to go the brushed motor so I modified into the brushless motors. as you can see there's a brushless motors. if you have any questions or anything uh, check out the link below, there's a built thread in there to FPV Labs with all the mods. Uh, would I do it again the mods? No, probably not, that's a lot of messing in there because I, I, I tried the 90 pinion, uh, 90 pinions and I got the wrong ones, they were 0, 0 0.4 uh, pitch so you need basically uh, 80 pinion 0 0.5 pitch on these one nothing else, nothing else will fit because uh, the stock motors they slide it in and they all the centers in straight on into the gear so uh, it was a bit of a messing. So, two two ESCs. They fit it right in there in between the plates. Uh, these are the ten, uh, 10 amps uh, X X series car ESCs with reverse uh, batteries. I had I had uh, eight hundred and fifty milliamps three cell nanotechs. I sold it to my two cell packs. I had LEDs in here, at the front, at the back, 
which is supposed to be for three cell. I plugged it in the two cell. Yeah, no bother. They don't shine bright. They kind of illuminate. But when a voltage started sagging, like they few of them shining, few of them not. So I just disconnected. Uh, later on, I will get a step up uh, step up voltage regulator, and I will and I will power up uh, the LEDs. Uh, 600 milliwatt VTX probably overkill a little bit, but she it's not going up in the air It's gonna be driving on the ground like around the house or maybe in the park somewhere So you need a little bit kind of more powerful uh, Servo Don't know. Can you see the servo? These are the uh, 12 gram servos uh, Metal gear instead of a recommended 9 gram servos so. Right um, with the stock wheels, with all my modifications and this, I had I I could tilt I could tilt basically around 50 degrees until it started tipping over. With the new wheels plus the lead inside, I can I can I can go on the side basically 60 degrees be before it starts tipping over. So uh, I know there's a curse of them little things that they're tipping over. So. I'm not worrying. I had to. I had to rebuild my pan and tilt system. I had. I had a bigger camera and a bigger servo, which is which is was way too big and way too bulky. Okay, now let's check out the mixes. Ah, this. There's enough speed, there's more speed, bigger wheels gives more speed and plus there's a brushless brushless motors instead of a brush ones. Um, now of course these uh, there's my camera, there's my camera. Now the steering I can do only front steering, I can do uh, whichever one you call. I'm 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 not good at these terms or trucks or whatever. Now, as long as I have two two motors uh, on each axle, I can do the digging. There's a front wheel only. There's a back wheel only. There's there's, there's more mixes that I can do. Like for example, if if I want it, I can do um, turn the wheels and mix the motors. May make sure front goes forward, rear wheels goes back, so it can just turn around in one spot. But the, but the radius is pretty, pretty, pretty good, so there's no need to. Right, so. Time to hook on FPV, power on me, fetch our goggles, and mooch around. Okay, bye bye.